Hoka Pro X. I'm gonna see how you hold up. 10 mile run, let's take her for a spin. Hey guys, final review on the uh, M uh, Carbon X2 by Hoka. Uh, first time wearing Hoka for me, uh, I weigh about, a, I'm six foot one, I weigh about 195. I like to do 20 mile runs. Today I took these through their paces on a 10 mile run. First five miles, I did a seven minute mile. Uh, the last five, I did 10 minute miles just to see how these would fare. I felt this was more of a mid striker shoe for me. It does have the carbon plate in there. Um, overall response I felt was nice because it was nice firm. I didn't get the wiggle you do with the higher end race shoes. I felt this shoe is at like a higher end cross trainer, like above the Pegasus series, but below like the Ciccone, um Pro Elites and below the Nike 4% and the Nike Next Percent. So this is not like a high rating marathon shoe. I felt this was a great like 5K shoe, a, a great um, cross trainer, just something you want to put 20, 30 miles on at a time. Uh, real comfortable shoe, but if you're trying to win a race, this is a little bit slower of a shoe, um, more of a mid striker, uh, a mid striker and then a rocker. You're not going to put be on your toes the whole time with this. Overall, I enjoyed them. I'll wear them again. I'll put lots of miles on them. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I just want to give you a quick review of how, what uh, I got for my bucks. I believe this shoe belongs in the 130 to 150 price range just for what it offers. But overall, I was impressed with the look and the comfort and the feel. Pretty lightweight shoe, not as light as the racer shoes are, but uh, comfortable shoe, good value. Uh, that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it.